We got it running and then it stopped running and then we figured out it was the compression and then went home to go fix it and then pulled everything apart and found out it was the cylinder and uh, piston were just pretty much again. So therefore uh, today I am borrowing a friend's bike because I would planned a whole trip and because the beta was broken I didn't have anything to ride with. So I'm riding a 2011 KTM SX-F250 and it just so happens that the owner of this bike weighs exactly 120 pounds and guess how much I weigh guys? Oh shit! Ugh, there is a chain there. Exactly 120 pounds. Where am I going? My god, this bike feels so freaking good. I've never ridden anything so beautiful in my life before. Anyway, so where I'm getting with this point is that I have decided that I may just get rid of the beta entirely because I just feel like I have very bad luck with that bike, but more so the suspension just isn't exactly what I want it to be and what I need it to be. After riding this bike, I've come to the conclusion that I want, not this one, uh, I want a KTM 250 XCF. All right, so today we are also riding on our friend's property out in Temecula. And they're gonna take us down to some lake, I guess. But also, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but in the background over there, there's like mountains and there's just snow all over the mountain. And the crazy thing is, it looks so close, but it's actually not that cold from where we are. Look at that, look at that, all that snow. Start this bike. I'll just bump start it. No. No. That did not work. Okay, I had to figure out how to do this. Uh, okay, it's a little tough for me. Ooh. Okay, okay, there you go. There you go. Oh my god, I'm so freaking in love with this bike. Granted, this is an SXF. I would probably get the XC, but my god, the suspension feels so good. It literally just eats up everything. It literally boosts my confidence so much. I feel like I can ride so much better than I actually can. I'm going faster than I feel comfortable doing, but at the same time, I feel comfortable enough to like do it and not be as scared as I usually am on the beta. And, God, what a freaking night and day change. Is there just like a hobo camp? What's happening here? What the heck is that? It's a gnarly hobo camp. They have it all built out. What? They have like cars stacked and whatnot between the rocks. Oh my God, that is so freaking sick. You guys, there's wild dogs roaming around. They're 
so cute! Hi. Oh, we're going that way? Uh, what? What? okay. Hold on, I need to, I need to start. Oh, God! What are you doing over there? I'm just falling over. <laughs> but there's a lake. Look at all that snow. This is absolutely beautiful. What a freaking view. You can even see the clouds in between the mountains. Oh my god, there's a deer. Oh, I wish I could get it on camera. Look at it. Look at it. Look, oh my god, he's running so fast. Come here, deer. Come here. What do they respond to? Branches out here, I don't trust it. Oh god! I don't have hand guards, I'm just gonna go slower. Oh! Man, this is paradise right here. This is freaking awesome. prepared I was not prepared for this rock <laughs> it's just so it's just so steep going down oh god oh you just nailed me in the vagina what do you mean get out of the way oh god stop ow you're just like beating me with a bike. Okay, here. I don't want to go down this. Yeah, you'll be fine going down it. No, it's too scary. No, it's not. This is terrifying. This is like the hill over there we went down. With the mm. rocks. Like, you see how fast that's going? Yeah, but this is gnarlier. Like, look at these lumps. There's a flat spot right there. You'll be fine. Oh my god. The brakes on this thing don't even work. No, get on over here. <laughs> it's so slippery. <laughs> Brian, I don't want to ride down this. You'll be fine, trust me. I really don't. You'll be fine. Oh my god, I'm literally so freaking scared right now. This is my worst nightmare. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, please. Please don't. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh my god. I'm alive. I'm alive. 
Okay, we're good. I'm alive. Okay, to be fair, I didn't know those rocks were there. Now I do. I'm gonna give it another go. I take my my uh, infinity lens off. <sighs> Fogging up a little bit here, but I made it up the hardest part, so that's like that's all that counts. <sighs> oh, so annoying. <laughs> video right here let me know what you guys think about uh you know me getting a ktm or possibly buying this ktm that i'm riding or getting my own i don't know uh yeah just let me know your thoughts do you guys think i rode better i mean i haven't rode in a year and i feel like for my first time back out after not riding for a year this is uh this is Pretty good riding. Like, I feel like I have a lot of a lot of confidence that I didn't have before. Some day, some day, some day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, there wasn't really a lot of vlogging, like not a lot of talking in general, but more so just kind of coming out here to ride in a, a place that I haven't ridden before. You know, just getting back into the swing of things and just having fun. That said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you when I see you next time. Peace. I'll be that young rapping dude. Might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby. Might just clap it through.